how do uh not been on for a week if i haven't been in van for about five days uh yeah so today i am going to sort out my leisure batteries i have used them but i haven't fit them properly if you know what i mean i'm putting them in parallel that sort of thing so i am going to put them into parallel uh put an air strap to the chassis uh and i'm also going to do some wiring for the 12 volt tv i know i keep looking over there but i'm not i'm looking at yeah where's my camera hello right also my drill i've had this drill bought it from uh uh bloody hell, i forgot bloody name on it um, b and q they were 22 pound 50 each or two for 30 quid so i bought two uh one got stole but this one i think's broke <laughs> just a bit oh i was gutted eight years i've had it but eight years 15 quid it's not too bad is it right so i have been to argos and i've treated myself to an 18 volt leon hammer drill uh that were an hammer drill as well but anyway yeah uh 30 quid which i don't think is too bad uh unveiling there we go and that's it yeah like i say uh the batteries uh, i went away to whittingham but i only had the one battery and uh because of everything that's been going on everything with sandra's mum dying and you know all that shit uh i absolutely totally forgot to worth the battery uh yeah so i bought a strap uh a good one as well oh there's it uh, yeah i bought this strap proper one uh good thickness so that'll go through floor onto its chassis uh i don't know if anybody's ever used this ct1 uh i wanted to get some white sycophlex or white tiger seal it's for the back vents uh but they didn't have any they said this is better now they have like a bit of a stand set up you know showing actually what it does what it can do what it can't do and it looks good uh apparently a lot of motor on place in caravan place have started using this uh 100 eco compliant <whistles> that's good isn't it oh yes mr shifter right i'm going to go and get the battery on show it's one of those little thin things and all isn't it yeah. well it's not just hammer is it well, i hope not Oh no, I could change it there, look. I'm at a normal. Oh, thank God for that. Right. Need some bloody weight in it, though. Uh, right, so, yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, attaching this to the chassis. But I'm going to get this on charge first. Uh, right, here we go. Right, before I start doing anything like this, uh, showing you, basically, I mean, uh, I'm not an expert. I am not an expert at doing this. I'm not electrical or anything. I think with stuff like this, it's just common sense and asking people, obviously. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's, I know people say it's only 12 volt, but 12 volts can be as dangerous. Not for the gain electric filter, but for fire. Right. This is my setup. I've got two 130 amp, uh, 130 amp, yeah, 130 amp power batteries. This one, I haven't even unplugged yet. This is like a, what they call a travelling plug. You take that out uh, when you start using it. Um, this one seems, well, it will be a bit flatter than the other one because I've been using it. So what I'm going to do then is just wire everything up ready and I'll put this on charge because Terry left the charger. 
I'll put this on charge to get it to fully charge and then they're both at full charge. Um, what you need, yeah I can do, what you need to put it in parallel is these, these bad boys. Uh, I got the 12 inch ones because that's enough plenty. In fact, in fact they're just going to be bang on aren't they? Right, so yeah they're called bridging wires. Uh, earth wire that is going to go needless to say from the earth there is an hole in the floor there look, that vent can you see it there that's going to go through there into the chassis uh, yeah I thought it really was the thing was leaking there Right, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, what happens is it's basically with the bridging wires, live to live, earth to earth, and always earth to chassis. Uh, there's a lot of confusion whether you need to fuse between the batteries. In this case, we've been so close, there's practically no chance of a short or anything. So I don't think it necessary. Uh, I might do in the future. I don't know. Uh, at the moment, this is going to the Zig. That's a 35 amp fuse. Needless to say, I'll be taking these off. These here are eight mil, which was because I've got some more here. They are for that battery. So it's going to be eight mil to eight mil, and then the earth down there through the floor. Right, so I'm going to get under the van now, uh, undo the bolt, clean it up, ready for putting earth on. Battery out on charge. Uh, what, I'm talking to myself. Battery's out and on charge. Um, it were reading 12.62. Um, the other one that I've been using was 12.76. So it only needs a bit of a charge. It's important that if you're putting them into parallel, that both batteries are more or less, you know, they don't want to be too much out. They've got to be the same. Preferably the same make, both at the same time, which these were. Um, also, I forgot to mention, when you're putting them into parallel, you know the cables, um, make sure that they are the same length, by the same length, same thickness. Um, it just stops any discrepancy, any drop or anything you know right right we're under the van here's a cable i've pushed through uh that's where it's going on there uh I'll just turn light on uh maybe i won't it's a bit better in it Right, so, yeah, obviously, that is going to be going on there. I'm just wondering, you know, whether it'll just go on like that. Put a nut on it. Well, it needs cleaning up, doesn't it? I think it'll be all right, that. Mind you, though, it's full of crap. Look. Yeah. I suppose I could give it a good clean. I'll just give it a good clean and see what it looks like.
a waste of time pulling the earth cable through, weren't it? Because it's here. <laughs> There we go. Right, so what I'll do is clean up that area, you know, against the nut there. Clean up that. Put a fresh washer on. Oh. Right, I've just scraped a bit off. Well, scraped it, this paint, so that has to be cleaned off. When you put the washer, it has to be to metal to metal, otherwise it's pointless putting the uh, earth strap on. So, that has to be scraped. The multi-tool. That's what it wants to be like. There we go, that's what it needs to look like. Nice and cleany, cleany, shiny, shiny. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, all cleaned up. Tightened up. Right, what I have to do now is go back inside. Uh, 
yeah once the battery's charged i'm going to give it another hour battery's charged up to so again what it were now 12.9 somewhere then it's going to settle down in it so we're going to be about the same right i've put both all connectors on now uh four of them uh all we need to do now is uh put the bridging wires on you do the lost them yeah right you do the live first uh why i don't know so don't ask right so while i'm doing that in fact i can't i've nowhere to prop phone uh right, i've tried propping phone up but it won't work so i'm gonna have to do it and then show you what i've done i've connected the lives uh made yeah i brought the wire this way it's out of the way then right regarding earth i've done it from this one obviously i'm going to go obviously go to this but this one here is also this is for the well to earth it's chassis so what i'm going to do i'm going to put them both on the same point right. they're on so now what we have oh, two batteries in parallel simple as that you, um, what you've basically done is there's two 130 amp batteries now what I've got is 260 amp hours but uh, the output is same it was 12 volt there is a way of doing it where you can actually up the voltage um, I think it's called in sequence that I'm not too sure though so don't quote me like i say i'm not a professional at this so if i blow myself up you know get some electrical advice first anyway yeah so got it down to the chassis that's earthed so we've got a good earthing point right that's that um also what i'm going to be doing now is well i've got to put these back this is the power for the zig now when you're powering anything when you're wiring up to your batteries for anything obviously you need your inline fuse right but what i'm trying to get at is you put one to the put your earth to the earth on one battery and alive to the live on another battery that way you get equal discharge if you had them on earth live it would just take the power from that battery that way you take drawing power from both batteries so you get an even distribution that's the idea of keeping them both uh wait before you put it in, sorry both the same charge if you will uh same length of um leads etc etc so yeah so right what i'm going to do now is put this is which one to use i don't know uh I don't suppose it matters right so like i say i'm going to put the red live obviously to the live and the negative uh there to the earth i'm going to use that we'll do it that way 